What is up you guys, it's Bolt298, and in this video we are going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 once more. So more leaks have dropped, and I'm going to keep you guys up to date with them, as I said before. So let's go ahead and get into talking about these leaks. First thing we're going to be talking about is some more remastered maps that have been confirmed to be joining Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. These maps are from Modern Warfare 3. I think one actually comes from Modern Warfare COD 4, Modern Warfare 1. Modern Warfare 3 Overwatch map is coming to the new Modern Warfare 3. Here's a little picture that map i do not have an in-game view of it for the new modern warfare 3 this is just from the original mw3 but as you can see this is the map i actually kind of forgot about this map a little bit i kind of didn't really think about it but it does look like this map is confirmed to be making a return as of now and then we'll move over to our next map from cod 4 multi modern warfare 1 which is countdown countdown the map is going to be in modern warfare 3 which is super cool because honestly is a great map i loved playing it back in the day uh when i did play modern warfare even whenever like the servers have came back and i've played it a couple times uh it's always been pretty interesting to play i'm pretty excited with this one coming back and just seeing what all they plan on doing is it going to be an exact remake or is it going to be like a different type of like view like because some remakes they go and basically remake the whole map like they make it look a whole way a whole lot different so they could very much do that same thing with this one um it's kind of up in the air then we'll move over to kill streaks we have one kill streak that seems to be similar to a kill streak we see in the files for modern warfare 3 which is the hunter killer drone now this doesn't mean that the hunter killer drone itself is coming back but it does mean that we possibly have a kill streak that is relatively close to what the hunter killer drone does so in obvious ways no we might not have a drone that is called the hunter killer drone come back but we may be having or we do have drone that will basically hunt out and kill anyone pretty much like a hunter killer drone what the name of this will be i'm not sure you guys let you let me know suggestions down below on what you would name a type of drone like this uh besides obviously hunter killer drone but i'm excited to see what this means does this mean we get more new kill streaks or more reiterated kill streaks it's kind of like it's gonna be cool to see how they do these kill streaks just because i uh if we look at this in-game photo here from Scrapyard and just focus on the kill streaks and not the Anvil B or anything, but if we just focus on the kill streaks here, you'll actually notice the uh, kill streaks look to have a, a cruise missile, which we looks to be the exact same cruise missile from Modern Warfare 2. Um, it looks to be the UAV, which looks to be the exact same image. So these kill streaks could be wrong, um, but then we see the also. So, like I said, these kill streaks could be wrong, but I don't know that they would be since this is an in-game photo of the new map in new gun anvil b so maybe we get confirmed uav uh cruise and all that just in there well, let's look at the loading screen the potential loading screen for modern warfare 3 uh 2023 it looks nice it doesn't look too off brand of what we're used to it kind of has uh it sort of has price just sitting there in the background um with he's like looks like he's fixing his gun up or something just kind of sitting there with his gun and hanging there and then you got the modern warfare 3 logo with you know white and the red three and then you have of course the press start um it's pretty basic but it does lead to like some confirmation because i mean this is what we're kind of used to when it comes to these loading screens anyways like i i could see this definitely being a loading screen in the upcoming call of duty so maybe it is the leaked loading screen for call of duty Modern warfare 3 this one's gonna have more of a like old like old feel like they're bringing a bunch of new older characters back and i think the whole game was supposed to be a dlc for modern warfare 2 where they brought back basically all the old modern warfare 2 stuff into next gen consoles so now let's move over over to a in-game a new in-game picture yes i try to bring you one in-game picture new every video and then this one we have one guy doing a finishing move in a kill cam so we kind of get a little glimpse of what a kill cam would look like if you look at this skin it kind of looks like the freya rafe skin from cold war season three i'll pop the images up for you there but um it just looks like that skin uh you guys let me know down below if you believe you agree with that but yeah it looks like the freya rafe skin from cold war season three and i'm not too mad about it uh i know a lot of people actually like these type of skins and they do look nice like it looks like a nice skin i wonder if this confirms maybe freya wraith comes back into modern warfare 3 um that would be pretty cool to see or no but we have no confirmation on that as you see in this little kill cam you can kind of see how everything's gonna look it looks 
it looks clean like up to it looks clean you can see up to three other dead bodies on the uh the picture here um so we can only suggest that he's probably killed some other people you know in the game but he, merciless is what he's on as you see and then of course he gets the finishing move extra points i think this looks good um thing that i'd probably change is to make the and maybe this is like the end of it so that's why it's like popping up the you can see the task force logo like kind of there just, um the opacity's turned way down and i think that's because it's about to like be done with the cool cam so it's like slowly going into the scores which is fine it just looks a little weird right now how it is the finishing moves confirmed to be in the game i don't think anyone ever thought we wouldn't have them in uh but it's good to really have them confirmed just because now you have no doubts on it no worries for all my rank play demon it looks like rank play this call of duty might come out right on time as we see some le leaked rankings basically of what the call of duty rankings will look like we have the silver um it looks like we have silver gold platinum diamond and crimson iridescent and top 250 we have all the sort of like emblems slash logos for them so it does look like we may be getting rank play on time this game which would be really cool for all the rank play guys who grind out rank play we'll get a lot of bigger player base right off the start of the game instead of waiting to like halfway through the game cycle to get rank play and then i'm super excited to have the rank play come in because i do play rank play a lot or i did uh grind out rank play so i'm super excited for it to come back early this time so i don't have to wait on it but let me know do you like these emblems more than the last ones let me know down below are you excited about rank play possibly coming out with the game this year let me know down below also on overwatch and countdown being in the game if those are some of the maps you're excited about and i'll see you in the next one remember stay tuned for all your Modern Warfare 3 leaks and news. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.